could like, subscribe and comment what you'd like to see next. That would really, really help me out. But today we are going to go in with the last of the Tasty collection that we are trying out on the channel. It is the avocado one. So I think I'm going to do something different this time and I'm going to go and start off with my eyebrows. And we're just going to go in with my, I can find it, my XX Revolution 4 brow. Um, and then we will do my full face and then my eyes this time. So that's my eyebrows done and then I'm going to go and put a lot of moisturiser onto my skin. Sorry if I'm looking a bit glowy, I've had um, like moisturiser on all day but I'm going in with the Revolution Calming Boost moisturiser and I'm just going to really moisturise my skin straight away in the thumbnail and you're just watching me. So I'm just going to see how it works, you can see it a little bit there, I do need to be close to me for obviously obvious reasons while I do my makeup. And then I'm going to go in to, it's a new one, it is the Huda Beauty um, Water Jelly Moisturising Primer. And I'm just going to apply this on the back of my hand, probably like a pump and a half, like a clear one. It's clear, sorry. I'm just going to dab this all into my skin. So I'm going to be going in with the Huda Beauty 4 Filter Sticks. Um, this is in the shade Creme Brulee and Panna Cotta. So I'm just going to apply, this is creme brulee, all over my face, like so. And then across the top of my head. Perfect, let's go in with a brush, because obviously I've moisturised just before this, so um, my skin shouldn't stick too much to the um, brush foundation sorry shouldn't be too drying on my skin coverage um, and I'm going to go in with my trusty Chloe Martin MUA and it's like quite a dense brush and I'm just going to like press rather than pull and hopefully get like a better turnout yeah I should have gone in with my brush the first time and that was obviously my mistake but I do really like this foundation when I press it in it is so easy to blend like both with the beauty blender as well but I am going to drag it down my neck with just the excess product and tap the rest in so that is how the foundation's looking I love this foundation so the next I'm going in with is a new one that I haven't tried but I know quite a lot of people liked this. Um, I bought it quite a few weeks ago but I haven't opened it yet. It is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. It comes like this and it is in the shade number 2, Porcelain. I like how easy this doe foot is. Like, it's the doe foot is so easy to like bring across the like the eyes and it's really soft. Maybe I'm not. Right, so the next product I'm going to go in with is the contour and a bronzer. The contour palette I'm going to use is the NYX one, it's fallen apart, but it's the NYX um, Highlight and Contour Pro palette. And then underneath here, I'm going to go in with a new um, bronzer. I did buy this a while ago, but I just haven't really like played with it recently. It is the Coconut Bronzer from The Body Shop. It smells, I don't know if you guys can see that, the Coconut Bronzer. Um, it's in fair, and it smells amazing, like a 
coconut butter it smells really nice so i'm just going to dab into this this is how it looks and just like warm up my skin apply loads or really put much effort in because obviously the contour did give me depth that was just like to warm up the face and make it a bit more like less matte and um, the next the next thing that I'm going to go in with is a blush I realized that in my baby last two videos I hadn't been wearing a blush so this is the renaissance illuminate radiant in rose this is just a revolution one but this is how it looks inside a chloe morton brush it is angled but it really doesn't matter any brush that's quite small it'd be okay so i'm just going to apply this just across here and bring it back it is so nice it really just brings like a dash of color but also like gives um like a shimmery look um, I, ha I don't know if you've seen the last video or the video before, I had used the um, bronzer version of this, but this is just amazing. So I'm going to go across my cheekbones with this, just so it all comes together a bit more, and then dab the excess up here. I don't think I've used this yet, now this is the original RCMA powder, the no colour powder, and I'm going to set this with my beauty blender. Um, and then apply it to underneath my eyes so just get a beauty blender and then pick it up and just dab it like so just now I'm going to leave this there because I want to if there is any fallout I obviously want to um, use the baking powder to be able to wash that away so I am going to go in with the avocado palette now on a Morphe, I think this is the 617 but it looks like this and I'm going to go into the shade guacamole which is like this like green shade just here and I'm just going to apply this into the crease. I've never really played around with greens before so I'm looking forward to seeing how it comes up. Um, I was also saying in my December favourites that, oh December favourites, um, in my November buys, sorry, that I bought a lot of blue palettes and I hadn't really played with them. So I really want to give that a go. I'm just going into the other eye and building up the colour. And then I'm going in with the Morphe 330 brush and I'm just blending this out. Actually I'm going to go in with the shade half and I'm going to go over the top of where I've placed guacamole to blend it out. good little videos coming but obviously let me know what you guys want to see as well uh, I'm going to try and improve like my quality so it's not a yellow background uh, for Christmas I've asked for like soft boxes and stuff so I'm quite looking forward to see if I get them just because I think the yellow really puts off the colour I've just like I came too far in so um, I just wanted to like blend that out yeah, so I'm excited to see if I get some soft boxes to really change the colour because I feel like the yellow at the back is um, kind of just doesn't look that good. I'm going to go in with the Collection 2000 brush on the Morphe 421 and it's like, looks like so and it's pointed at the top but it's still quite small so you can get still like quite a good precise line with this. And I'm just going to like fully cut, half cut the crease.
both of my eyes cut. Um, I am going to go in with this colour Avo and I'm just going to blend this into my outer V. Avo, it's like a dark green, just there. I'm put this into my outer crease on the Morphe 433 brush. But it's all blended out now, the green is blended out, obviously we'll go back in. But I'm going to go back in with this um, brush, which is the Morphe 421. And I'm going to grab the other three palettes, which should be up on my channel. Um, is I'm going to use the Tasty Peach Mattifying Priming Spray. And then I'm going to go into the shade um brunch which is like this icy cold blue so that's what it looks like it's just there and then i'm going to apply this on the inner half of my like the inner part of my eye and every time i use this i keep forgetting that like i need to pat the shimmers in to get the best payoff and not like drag and then the next shade that I'm going to go in with is gonna try bite which looks a bit weird it's kind of got silver and blue and that's a shimmer as well and then I'm going to apply that to like the middle part of my eye and then lastly I'm gonna go into the shade smash which is like a very icy blue and it's just up here I'm just going to pop this on the outer corner of my eye just before it gets to that like dark green shade. So now I'm going to go back in with the shade Avo and I'm just going to deepen the crease up. And then I'm going to go in and blend this out. Hi, so I am back. I have not applied lashes. I thought for this look I would keep it to just mascara and I really do like it. I love this mascara. I think for the price it's really good. It is the Wispy Lash by Revolution. Um, I think it's just really good at separating and elongating your lashes. If you do like it thick, which I'm not going to lie, I do really like, it might not be so good, so good at thickening them up. But I just thought, like, I know not everyone wears lashes, so it might be nicer to not do lashes on this look. But we're going to go in and do my under eye now. And then I'm going to go in with the shades. Um, so I'm going to go in with the shade Seed, which is this one here, and Lime. And I'm going to mix the two. There is quite a lot of fallout guys um, and I also, I do really like this palette and I definitely think I'll like use it again. So this won't be one that um, like I just use once and then hits the back of the wardrobe. Um, I will definitely use this again but I do think that the blue shimmers are very similar. So I feel like maybe they should have gone into like a lighter and more like deeper like skin uh colors sorry that's my only complaint about the avocado palette and then i'm just going to go back in and just bring this a bit higher and then i'm going to coat my bottom lashes with mascara 
everything just seems to be like falling like I need to get um like a side table here for when I grab stuff rather than having like my desk a mess and I've just also just dotted myself with mascara I've got like a little sponge 